and that means the way to stop that from occurring for yourself is to actually own your own emotions so that he doesn't have to feel them and then respond to them. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's really important. Yeah. So um, I'm still often, since that time, I'm often, I wake up from this fear inside of me and I'm having trouble getting under it. Under the fear? Yeah. How many of you have noticed that you've got fear inside of you and are really having trouble getting underneath? Yeah, so, so there's quite a lot of the audience right here in the same boat. Remember that fear is a is a false expectation appearing real to you. So whenever you have trouble with fears, the first thing you need to do is start allowing yourself to acknowledge what they are. So for a lot of people, what they do is they live in this constant state of switching from one fear to the next fear to the next fear, but never really acknowledging it. So what I've done with mine first is just made a fear list and wrote down all of my fears. And whenever we have a discussion together too, don't we, when, when you're trouble with emotion or, or I am, we first look at our fears in terms of what's happening with our fears. So, so then once we've identified the fear, the next thing we do is acknowledge them. So the way you acknowledge them is, that, is tell yourself, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm afraid. So whatever the situation is, uh, exam an example is, I might automatically try to do what a woman, this is my life I'm talking about, I've automatically in the past tried to do exactly what a woman wanted me to do as far as I was able uh, because I was afraid of their anger projections. Because every time there's a projection of anger, I felt that as you know, no love, so I was afraid of that. So I had to write that down as a fear. And so then what I would do is notice every time I was interacting with a person, a uh, woman, if, if I was, I would ask myself, am I doing this out of love or am I doing this out of fear? Right. The second thing to do though is allow yourself to actually drop and actually feel the fear itself physically. So you know when a child feels fear, it starts shaking, and you, you've seen that, you've seen an animal feel fear as well? Like if, you, if a dog's being punished, for example, it will often, if it, particularly if it's a pup, it will get into this really strong fear state, right? And what it will do is it will start shaking and trembling and everything inside. And what often happens is that we feel that emotion inside of us, but we don't allow the physical expression of the emotion itself. So, the, so once you've actually acknowledged your fears, allow yourself, allow your body to start responding to the fear as it feels inside. Because what, if you don't allow that, then the fear will remain inside. Now, once you start doing that, whatever is under the fear will also start being touched on. 